What's up, everyone? Back for another non-alcoholic beer review. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Athletic Brewing Company. And they're out of both Milford, Connecticut, and San Diego, California. And this is their Geralt's Gold. So they're calling this one a hoppy hellish lager that comes in at less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs. And at the time of review, this can is approximately seven weeks old. So this is a collaboration between uh, Athletic and Netflix, more specifically the Netflix uh, series, The Witcher, which I've heard pretty good things about. Also, they have the a video game, which I've never played before, but I got to watch the show at some point. I have some friends that really enjoy it. So this is a collaboration. They're going for a hoppy uh, Hellas lager that's non-alcoholic. Kind of interesting. They have a little spiel here on the side that kind of talks about, uh, you know, the show and the whole collab and whatnot. But I, I won't read it because it has tasting notes and whatnot. 65 calories for this can. Um, 14 car grams of carbohydrates. Um, less than one gram of protein. Zero grams of fat. Ingredients. Water, malted barley, hops, wheat, and yeast. So this is a, they, they call it the Witcher's Hoppy Hellas. Okay, well, I'll be curious to see how this one is. I like Hellas Lagers. Uh, I don't think I've had like a non-alcoholic one, but on top of that, I don't think I've had a hoppy Hellas Lager. So a non-alcoholic version, I guess, I guess we'll see. Wow, that's looking really like, kind of like a Hellas. Um, yeah, but I'm really curious to see what this one's all about. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of uh, excited, but also kind of nervous at the same time, if that makes any sense. So I really like the uh, artwork too. Um, I, I'm a sucker for black and gold stuff though. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway. Yeah, that looks like a Hellas, um, although unfiltered, a lot of very fine particulates hold my hand up to the glass and definitely can see through it. Good clarity, but definitely very fine particulates. Hold it up to the light. Yeah, there's a lot of floaties, but um, it's like, it's kind of like fish food. It kind of looks like, but very fine. Um, had about a finger of a bright white soap study looking head that has dissipated to a thin film, but that kind of looks like a Hellas, although again, unfiltered for sure. Let's get a nose. Wow, that actually smells really nice. I'm getting like a little bit of like stone fruit. Did they mention, do they mention what they hopped this with? They don't mention it and I did not look online. So I don't know what hops are in here, but it definitely 100% has like this nice stone fruit vibe, like a, like a peach, a mango, apricot, a little bit of citrus, more orangey and grapefruit. And I'm getting a decent, like very slight. The thing I like about Hellas Lagers is the complexity to the malt quality, which is usually like a you know a big breadiness that's just very complex. Getting nuances and subtleties of that, but not like straight on Hellas. This kind of just smells like your generic IPL, but non-alcoholic, obviously. The thing about non-alcoholic beers, a lot of times I'll get like a weird kind of aroma, uh, astringent, something that doesn't belong that you kind of know it's non-alcoholic. I'm not getting that here. And I just went back, I'm getting this nice lemon-lime quality. Wow, that smells pretty good. Does it smell like a hoppy Hellas? No, it's more. it smells more like a uh, an IPL or like a hoppy, just if you just said hoppy lager. I wouldn't specify Hellas because I don't think I'd be able to pick that out if I was doing it blind. But it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty damn good. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. That might be one of the best non-alcoholic lagers I've ever had. Wow. And then at the on the finish, but not just specifically on the finish, front to back of the palate, that's where that com complex bready note is hitting me. That's really nice for a non-alcoholic beer, 100%. Here's where I kind of know it's non-alcoholic. The To me, the body on this one's substantially light compared to most of the rest. I'd say the vast majority of the other non-alcoholic beers. This is like straight up light body like this is like drinking like a four percent like light lager uh, maybe even a little bit more it has like a watery consistency so the mouthfeel or sorry the body i gotta knock a little bit the mouthfeel on the other hand yeah it has a nice crispness to it it's effervescent it's kind of what you want from a lager but that thinness i mean i guess you could say it's kind of refreshing because it's watery but i want a little bit more oomph especially if you're calling it a hoppy hellas but the mouth feels nice body it's definitely watery and thin. The taste, um, there's not a ton going on, but I will say that 35 IBUs and the fact they're calling it Hoppy Hellas, there is this mild to moderate bitterness on the back of the palate that's kind of lingering. But up front, I get hit with the, the bready malt. At first, it's kind of, again, it's more subtle than anything. As it continues through the palate, the malt character, and more specifically, like the bready note kind of builds. I get like a little bit of like a sourdough bread, a little bit of a wheat bread, but it definitely builds as it progresses through the palate. Halfway through, maybe a third of the way through, the um, 
fruit character from the hops hits, and it's more of a lemony, orange, grapefruit, citrus kind of feel. Very slight touch of like a peach and like an apricot in there as well. But on the finish, this is where it hits, and it's, again, almost moderately a bitter, has a nice semi-dry finish, but that breadiness, again, ramps up. So at the end, you have a good mixture of the breadiness from the malt, along with that moderate hop kind of uh, bitterness as well. And then you get a little bit of fruitiness mixed in. So I think the finish is really nice. What I like about this, outside of the body being um, very thin and watery, I can't really tell this is a non-alcoholic beer. I don't have that weird astringency a lot of times I get with non-alcoholic beers. The Athletic does a pretty good job most of the time hiding that in the taste. It had a couple beers from them where the nose was just like, nah, not for me, and then the taste was better. And this is actually probably, is this the best Athletic beer I had? I don't know what's up there. This is pretty good. They're calling it Hoppy Hellas. If they just said Hoppy Lager, I think they have nailed it for the most part. This is definitely a hoppy lager in non-alcoholic form. I would give it like a 4.6 4 or 4.7. Damn good. Um, personal preference, a little bit lower, but I will say always take my uh, you know ratings with a grain of salt like you should. Um, but for a non-alcoholic beer, this is, this is pretty damn solid. I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna drink the rest of that. And uh, you know, I think though, it's funny, it's moderately bitter now. It's just there's like a lingering, like almost slight, like um, like piney resin, almost earthy kind of finish uh from the from the hops on the bitterness. Interesting. So anyway, I'm gonna give this beer give this beer a high four or five, but 4.1 out of five. I think this is pretty damn good. And I'd recommend that you pick this one up. If you're somebody who enjoys um non-alcoholic beer, you've been drinking them for whatever reason. Give this one a go if you like uh, hop forward beers and you enjoy lagers. Like if you're somebody who likes IPLs or hoppy lagers, this would work for you. Uh, Non-alcoholic wise, I think in my opinion, maybe not, could be wrong. Um, price point availability, I paid just over two bucks for that can. I think it was like $11.99 a six pack here in my area. On um, the website though, it was $14.99 right from their website. So it's kind of crazy that it's you know three bucks less here in the Buffalo, New York area, but whatever. I just paid just over two bucks for that can. And availability, again, you can get it on their website. It's still in stock probably should be as of this review because i looked yesterday and it was in stock and i'm reviewing it today um but you should if you get any non-alcoholic beers in your neck of the woods you should be able to get this especially if you get athletic stuff and uh, if you've had this one before post in the comment section let me know what you think about it like i said i think it, i think it's really damn good for a non-alcoholic beer kind of surprised and uh if you like the witcher I don't see how you wouldn't pick this one up if you also like uh, non-alcoholic beers. It's a cool, I mean, I could read the, I don't really want to read this because I don't want to, again, I don't want to spoil anything for me, but they do have a spiel. I'll post it in the uh, description box and you can check it out. So huge thanks to everybody stopping by for another non-alcoholic beer review. I'm kind of trying to do these almost like I do Macro Monday on the channel. So like every three weeks I'll do an NA beer um, because there's not a ton of options. But uh, I like trying them out from time to time because of uh, my health situation over the last couple of years. I, I do enjoy drinking them once in a while. So I'm going to continue it on, you know, in the near future going forward. But again, probably every three weeks or so. Anyway, appreciate it. To the next one. Cheers.